All right, so Samira. She is often seen as this advanced, scary to play AD carry because lots of combos and stuff, but she can actually be quite easy if you play her correctly. Also with the right build, with the build I'm using, you will have, hang on. We actually have an Aatrox support. He got chunked really low already. I'm not so sure what to feel about this, but I mean, I, I trust him. He will probably, he'll probably do useful stuff. At least he has knockups. Anyway, um, we are playing a very lifesteal, oh, come on, <laughs> lifesteal focus build with Infinity Edge for the mythic items. So we have safe scaling and also, uh, in general, a safety net in terms of an early shield bow. Ah, that didn't work. But yeah, and with Samira in general, you don't want to overcomplicate things. This is like the biggest thing. You um, want to be reactive. You want to follow up as soon as your passive uh, is ready due to an ally landing a crowd control spell. This is where you go in. Not just randomly because you feel like it. It's uh, Aatrox, are you fine? <laughs> Okay, this looks like a 1v2 lane, but we can just be patient and wait for our time. The opportunity will come. As Samira, your follow-up will always be strong, no matter what. So it doesn't matter as much, unless Aatrox starts to literally int. Um, in champ select, I thought it would be Zyra support and Aatrox mid or Aatrox top and Riven mid or whatever. But, well, here we are now. Got all our spells. Again, we can't really make anything happen. Our support is way too low on health. So we just gotta farm from range, which is easily possible. We can just spam Q, it's a 900 range spell after all. So uh, we won't be missing any minions. We can stay very safe if we have to, and right now we have to. But you will see, as soon as the opportunity comes, we will switch gears, and the opportunity is easy to detect. This is not it. I'll do this just to protect Aatrox. Yeah, we need to, we need to play defense now. No alternative. But, again, this build scales. It's not like the meta Samira build where you want to build early lethality to snowball. You have very safe scaling with this crit version. I can't really farm right now. Oh well, I just missed 3 or 4 CS. It's fine. That trade was probably not worth it. <laughs> But I felt like it. Okay, Aatrox, do we have a stack? No, but I get it anyway. Okay, I'm kind of messing up my CS here. The enemy based, interestingly enough. Which gives us some breathing room. They really shouldn't have based. They should have tried to pressure us. Because now, we can actually push the wave under their tower and base ourselves. Oh, they didn't even... They, what are they? What were they afraid of? <laughs> of a jungle gank when our Aatrox is 300 health? Anyway, now I'm a little bit in trouble because this wave is pushing away from me. By the way, on Samira you always want cleanse. And even if it's... Oh god, I'm missing every minion. Even if it's just for enemy exhausts, but crowd control is your biggest nightmare. And just for exhaust, it's already worth it. So... If you press tab here, we don't have a, we have Nami's exhaust and we have Timo's blind, so um, there are plenty of things to cleanse. But you always want to take cleanse. Cleanse is so important for Samira. Anyway, the enemy is pushing right now, so I will just let them do that. Aatrox gets the freest base ever here. They just did not pressure us for some reason. I don't know. Maybe they were hyper respecting our jungler. <laughs> but okay, <laughs> fine by me. Uh, brother, don't take damage. Thank you. Okay, he gets a cannon. And now he should be a little bit more useful, having high HP. HP being the most important resource for engaged supports, because they need to actually soak up the initial burst damage. Okay, we got most of these minions. Is this under tower? Is this not under tower? Eh, it's, it's not really under tower, but it will have to do now. We have to match the enemy's items. Do we go like this? We can delay lifesteal here a little bit um, for more AD. I think that's better here. The pickaxe is quite nice. 
and they're not poking us really, so the lifesteal right now is not as important. We will get it next base though. It's just 550 gold upgrade. Anyway, we have a rather quiet game, which I like because, uh, well, this Aatrox still needs to find his footing. But um, again, on Samira it's no problem. Samira is not as flashy as she is made out to be. You're really just a reactive follow-up champion. Oh, Aatrox, why? Please don't. Please don't take all that free damage. <sighs> he just walked up over nothing. Man. That's unfortunate. He just lost all his health again. For no reason. <laughs> okay, now we have to play defense again. Well, actually, once we turn level 6, one knock-up and we're golden, right? We always have to hold our W. This is also one thing you need to keep in mind with Samira. You need to... Um, how do I say? Anticipate beforehand which enemy spells you want to block with your W wind wall. And in this case, the most valuable spell will be Nami's ultimate once she turns level 6. Okay. Ah, missing the CS. But I'm essentially laning 1 versus 2, so... Missing some CS here and there is inevitable. There we go. Come on, Vigo. That's a free gank, isn't it? Let's see. Misses his stun. Okay, no gank. <laughs> it's fine, boys. It's fine. We got this. Oh god, I'm, I didn't trigger my blade attack. Still got the minions, though. I can't even help him because I have cleanse and not heal. I shouldn't have tried to. Just cost me my flash. And my HP. Wait, this Aatrox is getting bullied. Anyway, did they base here? This gives me free farm again. I like free farm. Yeah, get this wave. Samira's wave is surprisingly strong due to her AoE. But now we can base and uh, grab our life steal finally. But yeah, I don't, I don't know. This Aatrox, if they're if they're able to just feed on him, we're a little bit in trouble. But so far so good. Our Zed is on four kills, so we don't need to worry too much, do we? Or no, not Zed. I mean, I just confused, got confused by the picture. It's Viego actually. Anyway, now I have life steal. I have a little bit of armor. And if Aatrox just lands one Q, I could even just go in. Because what are they gonna do? Ignite me? <laughs> Why do they have Ignite anyway? But yeah, uh, Cleanse also works against Ignite. Just a heads up for you. We want to thin out this wave before we do anything crazy. Ah. Need to be faster with my passive. He actually did land the knockup this time. I need to watch out for that. As soon as he gets in position, I need to already hover my mouse. So I don't miss the opportunity. He's just way too deep. Cleanse the exhaust. But I took a tower shot. Anyway, I was able to salvage Aatrox's play. And that's all that matters to me right now. Because he just went in there with no plan whatsoever. He just he just went for it. He just rolled. And had I just let that happen, he would have died for nothing. And this way we at least trade one for one. So it's actually fine. <sighs> anyway. <laughs> With a with a support that's not picking a troll champion and that's all who also knows what he's doing or she's doing, this will be so much easier. But even in a situation like this, it's completely fine. You just need to bide your time, wait for the opportunity, and keep your farm as high as possible. I'm actually out farming Zaya despite her having a support in her lane. Are they on dragon? They might be.
Okay, Aatrox back in lane. Please don't fight here. Just blocking the feathers to save us some trouble. Alright. There we go. Allies falling left and right. Oh god, the minion block. Well, if they give me free damage, I'll take it. We don't want to fight right now, because Viego, as you can see, is on Dragon. And we don't want to put him in a lose-lose situation where he either has to give up Drake or help his fighting bot lane. So yeah, here we are. But we kept him busy, and he took Dragon completely for free. That's such a big win for our team. So Teemo is kind of fed, but apart from that, we're fine. Not even Zaya is fed, despite Aatrox. <laughs> I'm sorry, I don't want to flame him. I'm just stating the facts here. I'm, I'm, and of course, I'm not pinging him. I'm not texting in game. It's, uh, it's completely fine. He might just want to. I don't know. He, he might just have the. He, he probably had a good idea, but the execution is a little sloppy. Ah, okay, so. Vi is right there. Let's place down an extra ward. Makes me feel a little safer. But again, we just bide our time. And if we have to wind wall, we have to wind wall. It's not a big deal. It's a 30 seconds cooldown, but right now we're just farming anyway. Okay, but again, you want to save your wind wall for when Nami uses her ultimates. So we have to be a little careful here because we don't have it. If she ults from one of those bushes, you want to stay away from this bush. Okay, looks like they're just not in lane. They base at the most random times. I mean, we have the wave on the tower, we can base now as well. I give one careful warning ping, so he doesn't overstay. But I of course don't want to bully with more pings. No one likes that. <laughs> oh, please don't tell me he dies for this. Ah, come on. Okay, he should be safe. He's safe. It's, it's fine. It's fine. Nothing happened. It's okay. It's okay, Aatrox. I got your back, bro. Need to farm at a tower here, but they can't dive me at least due to my shield bow. And platings are gone now as well, so they don't get an advantage that way. And I get all my farm for free. Fine. Alright, as soon as Aatrox returns, we actually can start looking for fights, as funny as it sounds. He has a couple of items now. I have my shield bow. Take the wave. Alright, I'm farming way better than the Zaya, which will help us long term for sure. We might actually, yeah, I'm, I'm pinging go in. So he knows what's up. Ah, <sighs> it didn't quite work out. No! They both lived. Ah, okay. Okay, maybe it was a little too optimistic. I'm not sure how much Aatrox helped there, really. But for a second, it looked like a good engage. Man, that was so close. Had only one of them died, I would have killed both of them, because then Triumph would have triggered, and we would have been able to, um, well, use that health to uh, survive long enough to kill the other one as well. That was so close, man. Ah, again, this was a risky play. A risk I willingly took here, um, simply because I wanted to test the waters with this Aatrox. But if you want to play it safe, you, you never need to make that play, right? It was a risk, and sometimes it goes right, sometimes it doesn't. If you don't feel risky, just don't make plays like that. And yeah, now Aatrox falls as well, because he doesn't follow macro strategies. Um, we do have a wave under tower. The Ego doesn't want to help. 
Maybe he does, we'll see. There we go. That's how you do it. Vigo ganked, which means something is happening, which means I just go in. Very straightforward. Alright, and this time it worked. It was quite risky because my shield bow was still on cooldown. But I just couldn't resist. I saw the opening, I saw the 2v2, I thought, let's do it. Aatrox also with, with teleport. Had he had ignite or any combat summoner like, well, a more conventional support, we would have won these situations as well. It's, uh, it's really a risk I shouldn't have taken, but so be it. At least it was fun to watch, right? <laughs> okay, shield bow off cooldown. And we can still... Okay, the Herald actually got another charge, but nothing major. Uh, we definitely want to be careful here. Ideally, we get this control ward. So we can buy... Okay, he gave it to us. That's nice. So we can buy a BF sword next. Because we do want our mythic item fast. the wave, go to dragon, feel good about ourselves. <laughs> Let's hope that works. It's risky, but at least I can block the Nami wave. Knock up doesn't land. Not much more I can do. Unfortunate. Yeah, they tried to brute force that dragon with no vision, and with the enemy being right there, it was just a stupid call. This is why I stayed defensive here, as you saw. I didn't want to commit and die with them. I wanted to help, but I didn't want to die for my teammates' mistakes. Oof, okay. Working towards Infinity Edge now. Mid and Tower Falls. Yeah, we are... I mean, top lane's doing well enough. They're at least getting pressure on towers. But ah, this game is closer than it should be. <laughs> Let's just say it like that. Okay, that was Int. <laughs> what did he think? What was his plan here? <laughs> Go in, kill Zyra when I'm right next to her? Yeah, no shot. Careful. Oh, I don't have my... I don't have my... I didn't have my W ready. Man, I, I wanted to make plays here, but I didn't watch my cooldown, so I stumbled over my fingers, kind of. Yeah, it happens. We still trade one for one, so it's not the worst thing ever. But man, in my head, that looked so much cooler. Again, had I had W there, I could have blocked everything, all the feathers from Zaya's ult, then went in, uh, cleansed the exhaust, ult them right back, but this, this was not the play. <laughs> Without W, that was not an option. Anyway, we do have the Infinity Edge Power Spike right now, which will go a long way. Um, also a commonly held misconception that you would have to go for your Mythic items first. That's not the case. Mythic items are powerful and going first, uh, Mythic first is not uh, bad by any means, but there's a lot of value in these Mythic passives, which don't even trigger if you don't have a Legendary item. So by going a Legendary item first and only then getting your Mythic item, you will instantly get value from that Mythic passive, which is not the case if you get your mythic item first. And in Infinity Edge's case, the item is only good if you have crit anyway. So might as well get another crit item first. And Shield Bow is of course perfect for Samira's game plan. As it does protect you when you inevitably dash into melee range. Let's see if we can mess up the Zed. He looks overextended, but there's probably wards here. Anyway, it doesn't hurt to try. Shield Bow back up in three seconds. Yeah, it's also way too mobile. There's no chance. No chance whatsoever. Um, in any case, we can still pressure the tower, right? We see two of them. Top lane. Still gotta be careful, though, because Riven is still dead. Oh, that's a good one. Nami wave wasted. Okay, and we de-warded. Nice. But we really, really can't do much there. We should really push the side lanes past River. 
I could roam bot lane, but my team looks like they're trying to fight. Ah, I'll do it though. It's, it's the correct call, and as long as they're not actually fighting, I'm just wasting time being in mid lane. I'm watching. Cl oh, they're closing, and I'm instantly returning. Instantly. Okay, had that Zyra Q landed, or W or whatever. There we go. Good thing I returned. <laughs> this is why you might know what the right call is. Well, well, while you might know what the right call is, it's always important to see what your team is doing, because if they are making an incorrect call, it's better to be there with them than to... Okay, I, I, I screwed up so badly. <laughs> I wanted to look cool there, right? Okay, please, have mercy. Don't shred me to pieces in the comment section. Anyway, but even though I knew the right call was to just push the sidelines past River, the team decided to fight, which is a path there, but I had my camera on them all the time, so I instantly could return when it was necessary. And, I mean, my foolish play still nets us a mid lane tower here. And we get Baron, so... Nothing to be mad about. <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm feeling a little adventurous today, so I'm, this is why I'm going for all those rather risky plays, like here in lane with the shaky Aatrox, and then for the tower dive without shield bow. Ah, even wasted my flash for it, which is kind of unfortunate. Okay, they should have the Zed here, he's overextended, I'm pushing bot lane. We need to fix the side lanes too. Okay, there we go. Also, with all that AD, we have even better wave clear than before, naturally. Is that a play? Doesn't look like it, so I better push this for one more wave. There we go. And we now join the team. Oh, Aatrox also doesn't seem too confident in his Qs. Not there. Not there in time. Unfortunate indeed. Okay, just chill. Wait for them to apply pressure with Baron buff elsewhere. We have numbers advantage on the map right now, so they need to respond. And they can't really respond if you played correctly, but my team is a little bit slow on the rotation. But we do keep them busy. And we take top lane tower, so it's actually working out for us just fine. Anyway, I don't have summoners right now, so I need to be careful with what I'm doing. And Aatrox just recalls, which is probably very smart, because we are overextended here, technically speaking. But again, I'm feeling adventurous. Let's wait for Riven. Let's see what happens. Let's see. Okay. <laughs> again, this time around, I didn't want to. I didn't dare go deeper. Not not tower diving again here. Not without sun, summoners. Not without my ultimate being fully ready. Ah, uh, I I should I should have taken this wave. I didn't react. Now I lose all these minions for nothing. Man. Okay, it's fine. Oh god, this is not fine. Ally has been slain. Well, it's a 4v4 right now, and we have Baron minions here. It's not too bad. Timo took some damage here. And yeah, this siege works out for us. Tower falls. Nice. Let's actually low-key keep going. Too much, too much. <laughs> okay, that was too adventurous. Let's be real. But um, we still got the tower, so we still made progress on the map. 
just a reminder, kills don't win games, but towers do. So if you trade kills back and forth, even disadvantageously, in this, like in this position, if we still get a tower as a result, fine by me, fine by me. So selling Dorans early-ish is not really what you want to be doing, generally speaking, but if you can finish a big item like Bloodthirster, I'll do it. And we need the item slots very soon anyway for components for Lord Doms. Um, we could... I mean, you can always go healing reduction if you need to, but in this lobby we don't. They don't have that much healing. So the extra damage from Lord Doms will be better overall. Let's see. No stun. Well, oh, they're they're all they're they're all overcommitting like crazy. So greedy for these kills. Come on, people. Baron spawns in one and a half. Dragon in one. So we should try to control. Oh, come on. Is that a fight? No, that's just a that's just a pick. Which is very good for us. I just keep them at bay. Yeah, so they can't join from the side. They need to respect my potential damage. I have ulti. That will go for it. Alright. Can I get this too? I should have eat her instead, would have killed both of them. But it was a split second decision, so you know how it goes. Anyway, we have four kills on their team, and uh, we're still alive, so let's push. Let's take towers. Towers win games. Don't forget that. Is Aatrox fine? Doesn't matter at this point, I just chip away at this tower. They have to respond. Yeah, I see all of them, it's fine. This tower is free. But now I want to join Zyra as they're all respawning, so we're a little bit safer having each other's backs. Yeah. Yeah, we should we should uh, regroup for Dragon, for sure. One hundred percent sure. Let's grab Last Whisper. Big power spike at this point. Even if they oh, it's gone. What a steal! I mean, it was greedy of Zaya. She doesn't have smite herself, so out smiting her is kind of free. Anyway, if you look at any champion, even Riv uh, Riven has a lot of armor, 100 armor, but she has doesn't have any armor items. So you have to buy a last whisper item later on. It's so important to keep your damage high throughout the late game. Uh, this is sketchy. Okay, never mind. Couldn't follow up. I even dashed to a minion to bridge the gap so I could at least auto attack, but uh, still not the not the distance we needed. Okay, let's get the wave. Just push past River Rome. In this case, Rome means pressure Baron, right? Revan is down. We don't want to. I mean, by pressure, I don't mean try to take it, but rather try to establish vision control. Ah, wasn't in range for E. Let's life steal back up. But this is why I recommend the life steal build. If you get caught by surprise. You can react. You can actually do stuff before you die, which is crucial. Can I kill him? I shouldn't try. <laughs> it's a Teemo. He has good counter engage. Taking, take the free stuff, win the game. Taking Baron is absolutely free here. Yeah, there we go. Beautiful. Um, yeah, use the... wait. Nami, are you fine? <laughs> I guess she's tilted. But I'll take the free kill. Or, well, my team in this case, but I won't complain. 
let's quickly upgrade items and run it back. So Aatrox already doing the correct thing, which is pushing, but he did it a little carelessly, so you should never die for this. You should always watch who's respawning, who's off the map, who's where if you can see them, and push the Baron minions so they do the work for you. You don't want to risk your life. <laughs> Okay, just like that. I I see the enemies, I back off immediately. Wait for the next wave, wait for more information on enemy locations. Alright. Uh oh. Oh no. Ah, wasn't in range for E. I wanted to W E to get three stacks from my passive, so I could follow up with ults. I'm a little overextended here, we need to wait for the team. Just walk back, buff the minions, let the minions do the work. I ping assist, hopefully that helps. Clear the wave. We see Vi, we see Nami. Now I have teammates behind me, so I'm confident enough. We don't want to overcommit. As long as the team is not grouped, we can't really siege effectively. Kind of a shame, because that's what Baron is there for, but... Oh, wait, 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 wait. What's happening there? Okay, I thought they were overchasing into Riven. <sighs> they have good counter-engage with both Zaya and Teemo. Wait, go. This is why Samira passive's broken, good lord. One spell lands, you just click on them from a mile away in the late game, and they just explode. <laughs> as simple as that. But now I don't have health left, so I better... Ah, bottle wave is also too small, I can't really lifesteal off them. Oh, he's low too. And I'm back to full. Okay, I had to at this point. I was so overcommitted, I had no way back out, so I had to try to make something happen by just plowing through them. Which almost worked. I actually really liked how I used my E to dodge that skill shot there. But um, Z under tower in the end was a little bit too much for me. In any case, we took Dragon in the meantime, we have this inhibitor down, this inhibitor down, next objectives, these two. Keep it simple. Grab a BF sword. So last item Guardian Angel, so the risky plays that I'm going for are a little bit less risky. And that's the full build. Samira is not one of those champions where you can sell boots. Alright, but we, we should really just keep it simple now. This game's going way too long already. <laughs> Guys, are you fine? Surrender vote? What? <sighs> okay. Two down. We probably just need to wait for the respawn timer. In the meantime, let me farm for my GA, actually. Or let me kill them, if possible. They're spawning in 20 seconds. I take this wave, get my GA, and then we'll be fine. Okay. Never mind. But we're full build now. Trying to communicate the idea. 
And it seems to work. Aatrox is pathing towards topside. Come on, just push the lane. Why are you trying to trap them? It makes no sense. I mean, if it works, it works. Oh, the multi knock up. Keep going. Okay, clean ace. That should allow me to finish now. Yeah, I have 30 seconds until Vi spawns. So all I need to do now, 25, is it enough? I have so much damage, it should be enough, right? Oh, I walk through a shroom. Okay, but minions also doing their thing here. But yeah, the power of this build in the late game, you can clearly see it. Yeah, okay, I have 10 seconds for Vi. This should be the game. Tower falls, nine seconds for Vi. Okay, finally. For more educational AD carry content, you can click the link. Wait, wait, wait. Okay, uh, the Nexus actually dies. Okay, you can click the link on your screen right there.